right, guys, so we've got Nathan Shorty on the dyno. You saw it whenever we went to Mocan. We raced down there. And in all reality, on the horsepower calculator when we were down at Mocan, it calculated to 470 horsepower. So it pretty much has done that right on the dot. Uh, first things first, we found a boost leak over on the charge pipe on the turbo side. And this was with the KSB off. And you can tell it's making peak power at like 2400. Mine is making peak power out here. So we've got a lot of timing to go. And I don't know, we, we got some wastegate adjustments we can make. I think it's going to make some pretty good power. So you guys will want to stay tuned for this one. And we will go over the truck whenever we're done of the whole setup and all the good information that you guys will be curious about. So post boost leak run, uh, it picked up 18 horsepower and some torque, but it definitely looked definitely looked better. So 489 is pretty stout, but we also have a exhaust leak on the hot pipe. So drive pressure leak is also just as bad as a boost leak. Can't drive the big hard charger as hard, but we're gonna fix that and then run it again. This is all KSB is off, and then the run after that. Once we finally get a baseline that is a consistent. Um, we will go ahead and turn the KSB on for a run so we can get a comparison. And then we're going to bump timing because you can tell where peak power is at. But very, very happy for starting right here. Making over 500 is a big deal with the VE. And I believe we're going to do it. down huh? keep going down I'm just trying to hit it first try you're just gonna bump it a little see what happens bump it a little I'm gonna bump it like an eighth which an eighth, is a yeah. lot really an eighth on the case so we'll see there should be one work or you want a shorter one dude uh, that'll work it's so skinny Andy what are we doing low pressure injection activities <laughs> this is this is my laptop Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not me, dude. <laughs> Wrong guy. I put my foot Damn, where's Colby at? <laughs> dude, his forearms would have put in there. Oh, See me working on mine. Yeah, that's going to cost you. Don't break that pump. <laughs> Good thing it was out of my hand already. Oh, fuck me to tears. We'll be asking Evan <laughs> to bring another. <laughs> to I told Evan if his brakes and he needs my trailer, he better build me a pump while he's at it. I gotta come to his house to get it Oh, fuck me if yours is right. <laughs> Big cry bar. Gavin, buddy. You're touching my head. I think you're touching the head there, bud. That's not good. You're telling me this thing skipped a tooth? Get the, uh, get the diet yeah. around. We're God damn hand. it. Pretty sure. No, it fix all that side draft. Shit. Oh, God. Nathan, how do you feel? Yeah. I love it. Huh? We took the loop of the dining screen. So we did another pull back to back on Nathan's. We got a good baseline. So our baseline 489 is where we're at. And then this button, nothing changed here besides we grabbed the KSB. So obviously the truck needs more timing in it. So I just bumped the timing and we are going to run it again and see what it does. I think we might have changed the uh, start and end speed of the run because we're running at 3,100 RPM and I've been running mine out farther and it's still holding power out where he is. Granted, peak moved from 2,400 to 26, 27, so we're moving in the right direction. I believe that's kind of where we want to be, but we will see. But bump timing, we're going to run it again with KSV on now because now we know where it needs to be. So. 
do it. I sent it to Evan too. I think Wastegate, I think we're pretty fucking close. Depending on what he thinks, obviously. I don't know. Find another 100 horsepower. So we are all the way to the head with timing. Um, we can't go anymore without skipping a two. So we consulted Evan Ratcliffe that builds these pumps and talked to him about boost numbers and what was happening. So we're gonna do some waste gate adjustments now to see what that gains us. And then worst case scenario, if we have to try a tooth, we're gonna attempt it. But right now we're gonna do some waste gate adjustments. We're at 563, yeah, 563 and hopefully we're trying to get to that 600 number. It's a huge milestone for the VE stuff, as you guys know, so we're within 40 horsepower, so we're going to try and get there. No. Just wait. You need the, uh, you need the, if you get the, the bending one, this guy. 
Put a napter on it. You son of a. No, bitch. like it literally the head yeah. won't fit between the shroud. Hey, Gavin. Reverse thread. Ah, not mm -hmm. a virgin. Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? Master, right? Oh. Um, we're doing not great things. We were gonna try and reverse, jump. Reverse. reverse. We are skipping a tooth on the pump here. We we're going to try and achieve it by not taking the front cover off because it's got a Keating cover on it, but we pulled it out and you can't get the pump gear all the way off of the other piece. So we're pulling the front cover. We're going to skip a, a tooth. It's already skipped one, so this will be the second. It's a lot of time. They're yeah, five by eighteen giant key injectors key from Eric at the Hungry Diesel. Key pump vibes. Yeah, big big time key pump vibes right now. Um, smokes like a super stock truck, as you saw earlier in the video. But we're gonna try and get a little bit more power on this thing. Really want 600, 30 horsepower away. Let's see what we can we can do. What do you need? Oh yeah. You got a stubby. Oh, yeah. he has the non the non fuel. This tactical yeah. touch. Yeah. Hey, how'd that work out for you, That's buddy? The third time I've done that. <laughs> I bought that whole M12 non fuel kit. For All right. That. You're fine if I don't put this back in. You're fine if I don't put this back in. Yeah, this up here. Frank, can your skinny forearms do that? Yeah. Dude, I can. I don't know if that <laughs> Colby can though. So whatever. I have, I have. Uh, oh, that's E Torx. Yeah. E Torx. E Fuck the inverted. Yeah. Yeah, that thing. Maybe, that's okay. Maybe it was just loose and you were spinning it though. No, it wasn't. What if the whole cover just fell off? Okay, no, it's, uh, now it, what then, it, now it should just be left, dude. Didn't think we'd be doing this time. I honestly oh had a bad feeling. I haven't kept saying it, and I'm like, dude, you're speaking. Uh, we are currently turning the engine over to jump a tooth on the injection pump here. You can cut now. Hold so on. E means so very slow. slow. So E. Detrimental yeah. ink, internal ink. Hi, sir. Um, I, want to I already have blue balls. So, <laughs> if it is focused, down here... Yeah, he was you can see him. there's letters on update, the pump update, gear. Update. So the letter is E tire? is the factory like, tooth, and there's an O right here to line up with it. <laughs> yeah. So right now it's lined up with C, which is skipped one tooth advance. We're going to go another tooth past C. I don't really recommend this to anybody. This has, like I said earlier, very large injectors. So we're going another tooth because it seems to want more. It's making power at like 2750, 2700 RPM. So we're going to skip one more tooth, pull the pump away from the head. And run it and see what happens. But we gotta get this done, throw it back together, and dyno before it gets too late and Kelly gets mad.
All right, guys, we are ending the night here with Nathan's truck. Uh, the Where we left off was 578. So this was the very first pull number it came in, which calculated to about 460 something whenever we were at Mocan. So it's pretty dead nuts on, and this is where we left off. So it's carrying the power out the back for sure. I'm wondering what this little dip here is about. Um, we are skipped two teeth and have a good bit of timing in it. It's very rattly. It is up close to the head. Um, these injectors are just monstrous. I don't even know what to really think. It's definitely harder to get on the charger now. Uh, but it seemed it seemed to like the added timing. But I think there's more in the gate adjustment. I would really like to have a whole nother, like a full day with this thing on the dyno. Because I think there's something with this gate adjustment as far as where it needs to be. So I'm not completely decided on that. Um, we're gonna pull it off the dyno. Essentially, if you guys are curious on what it is, it is a Ratman Performance 12 millimeter pump. Um, the same one that I've got. It's got a Hamilton stage one head, just like mine. It's got five by 18s from THD. They're five by 18 comps. It's got a 60, 67, 12 uh, from Jade Tellman, a Tellman built with a 12 cm Ratman housing. He also is the one who builds the pump, and then it has a box 475 on the atmosphere, and it is a 47 swap. And just a sharp little shorty. Um, we're really hoping for 600, so we were we fell 22 horsepower shy of that. I think we can find it. I just think we might. I don't know if we need more air. I don't know if we need a 62 or 63 compressor and a 480 out front or what, but. There should be a lot more left in this truck, so we are going to have to find it. Again, I don't know if the gate setting could change it a lot. Um, we messed with it one turn at a time, but it didn't really seem to change the pressures, like the drive or the boost at all, and that was very confusing. And it's like 1.15 in the morning, and, and we're done. We're ready to go home. We, we pulled the front cover and skipped a tooth tonight, so we're, we're beat. We're going to hit the hay, pull this thing off the dyno, and yeah, but... This was a fun little tuning session.